Hey guys, welcome back to my channel DZ Can Toys, where I do review and share my thoughts on some of my favorite toy figure releases. Hope all of you guys are doing well. Today we're gonna be looking at the Freeing Company's 1 4th scale Arena Nakiri figure from the popular anime known as Food Wars or Shokugeki no Soma. So let's have a look at the box art and get the unboxing started soon. Now that we have the figure unboxed in front of us, let's talk a little bit about the background information of the figure company as well as the figure herself. In terms of the figure company, this figure is by Freeing. After doing a little bit of an information search online about the company, I noticed that they work together closely with Good Smile Company and the Good Smile Company helped them distribute a lot of their figures. Other than that, I checked out their Facebook page and there wasn't too much other info but I do know they have been on the market for quite a while already and they're really known for making their 1 4th scale bunny suit figures of various different popular anime characters on the top of my head some other popular anime franchise that they have did a figure on before are Steins Gate, Fate Grand Order, High School DxD, Code Geass Something very interesting is that the Freeing Company designs all its figures in this line wearing the bunny outfit. So the bunny outfit is a very classic outfit and quite popular in the anime culture. Although the majority of the figures produced under the Freeing Company's bunny suit figure line are based on female characters, there are characters that they produce who are male and also wear the bunny suit outfit. So for those of you who are interested in getting a male anime character wearing a bunny suit outfit, the Freeing Company also have you covered. In terms of a character background, the figure is based on Arena Nakiri from the popular anime and manga series known as Food Wars. The anime is basically about people going to a top culinary school known as Toski Academy and they battle each other out with their cooking skills. What's special about Arena Nakiri is, in the show, she possesses a special ability known as the God's Tongue. It basically gives her a palate that can taste food to another level. And with this ability, she can not only perfect her own recipe, but she becomes the perfect food tasting judge. Now that we got the background information done with, let's talk about the aesthetics of the figure. In terms of the aesthetics, Freeing did an extremely good job on this figure. Right out of the box, after I put the figure in front of me, it seems like Arena jumped straight out of the anime. Big props for Freeing Company on the face sculpt as it's very well done. I don't think it's that hard to mess up on a bigger scale figure, especially a 1-4 scale figure, but they did very good on it. Especially the eye printing is very well done and makes the figure seem very lively. As we move down the face, there are also red blushings on the cheek. And this, combined with the eye details along with the wavy signature hair of Arena from the anime series, make her seem like she just jumped out of the anime. So very well done on that part. Moving down from the face sculpt, the figure is in a very typical stationary pose, with her arms crossed and legs crossed a little bit as well. Overall though, the posing looks very natural and this is what makes the figure looks very aesthetically pleasing. Although the pose of the figure itself is quite simple, I have to give big props to the Freeing Company for their sculpt work and representation of the female anatomy. If I cover the anime face of the figure, just looking at the body, it looks very realistic, almost like a real person. Although some assets might have been enlarged. <coughs> cough cough. Jokes aside though, in terms of aesthetics, Freeing Company's 1 4th Arena Nakiri looks absolutely fantastic. Moving on to the paint job of the figure. So the color theme of the figure is quite simple. We have a yellowish hair color, the black color of the suit itself, and also the body color. This is where I have to mention I'm a little bit disappointed about the figure. Although the skin color is very well done on the figure, in terms of the black used on the suit, 
It does look good, it's a glossy black color, but when I was looking at the suit itself closely, I noticed some paint cracks in terms of the black paint. I'm not sure how well this is showing on camera, but if you look closely at the suit, there's some sort of lines on it. It's almost like a web pattern, and I believe this is some kind of paint crack, and it's not done intentionally. Although it won't rub off or anything when you touch it, but you can tell definitely there's some sort of paint defect over here on the suit. But you can't really tell from far away, you can only tell when you look at it really closely. Another negative I noticed about the figure in terms of paint job is in the hair color. Although from far away, when you look at the hair, it looks absolutely gorgeous. At least on my figure, when you look closely, there's minor spots where there's like a darker shade of black under the hair color itself. It's not very noticeable, but when you look closely, you can tell probably during the manufacturing stage in terms of painting, they didn't layer the color over the original part as well and may have needed another layer or two on certain spots. Interestingly enough, I have another figure who also have a similar hair defect problem. It's actually the Figma Fate Grand Order Mordred. She also have a similar hair color compared to the figure Arena Nakiri in front of us. Although I'm more willing to accept that kind of paint defect on a smaller, cheaper figure like Figma, I'm less willing to accept that issue on a bigger figure such as this 1-4 scale Arena Nakiri. This figure of Arena also costs much more as well, so I would like to expect its paint job to be perfect or near perfect. As you guys can probably tell already, I'm a bit disappointed in terms of the paintwork of the figure. But there is one saving grace in terms of the appearance of the figure, and this is the use of real fishnet stocking on the figure itself. The use of real fishnet stocking seems to be a major selling point of all of Fring's 1-4 scale figures. Whoever decided to use real fishnet stockings on a figure like this definitely deserves a raise. The added real texture of the fishnet stocking definitely gives the figure an overall more realistic feel to it. On a side note, because the figure uses real fishnet stocking, one should handle the figure with care as once you rip the stocking, there will be no way to repair it. In terms of accessory, the figure only comes with a stand. Other than that, there's no extra accessory. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, let's show you guys some size comparisons of this 1-4 scale figure with some other anime figures. Here we have a 1-7 scale Fate Grand Order Musashi figure. Here's a 1-8 scale Lancer Artoria figure from Fate Grand Order as well. And finally, we have a Figma from the Little Armory series. So as you guys can tell, the figure itself is quite big, as it is in a 1-4 scale. Final thoughts on the figure itself. Arena Nakiri is another great addition in terms of Freeing Company's 1-4 scale bunny suit figures. There are three major positives that I notice about this figure, which is the scale, the aesthetics, and the use of interesting materials. Scaling-wise, the figure is 1-4 size, which means the figure will have great shelf presence anywhere in your collection. Looking at the figure is extremely aesthetically pleasing, as Fring Company did a very good job in terms of the sculpting and the representation of the female anatomy. All the way down to her facial expression, she looks like she jumped straight out of the anime slash manga. And finally, the use of interesting materials. For this figure, they use real fishnet stocking, which definitely leveled up the overall appearance of the figure. Now in terms of negatives, I must mention that there are some paint defects. For one, I'm a bit disappointed in terms of the bunny suit. When you look closely at the black coloring, there are minor cracks in the paint job itself. But this is only noticeable when you look very closely. Other than that, in terms of shading of the hair, under certain parts of the hair, you can tell that there is a bit of black color which means that the yellow color is not applied properly. But overall, the figure looks great. So what do you guys think of the Fring's 1-4 scale bunny suit figure line? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, please support the channel by liking and subscribing. Stay young at heart, my friends, and we're out.